Uh, we're back and uh, maraming maraming salamat always sa inyong pagkikinig dito sa ating programa. Siyempre sa lahat ng mga programa natin dito sa KNDI Radio. And kayo po ay nakatutok sa Phil Amp Community Hour with Alan Alvarez. Heard every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, 2 to 3 p.m. Dito lang po sa ating 1270 AM KNDI Radio. Okay, so uh, lagi kong sinasabi to or, or this whole week pinag-uusapan natin na uh, meron tayong very special guest today and I'm so happy that he's able to join us today and um, iba kasi kung meron kang kausap na alam mong, alam mong sinasabi eh. alam mong ginagawa nila, di ba? It's different when somebody knows what they're doing uh, uh, versus somebody who thinks he knows what he's doing <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm very happy to have here Mr. R.J. Uh, Jamla and uh, he is uh, the Associate Sales Director for SMDC International, and that's SM uh, Development Corporation. Um, so without further ado, para ma- matuto tayo at matutunan natin kung ano nangyayari sa SMDC, let's please welcome to the program, Mr. RJ Jamlang. Hey, Hello, RJ. what's up? What's up? Aloha. Magandang hapon. Everybody in Hawaii, I'm psyched. I'm excited to be here. Thanks, Alan. Thank you, man. Thank you very much for coming on. And, um, you know, we're so, we're so, so excited. Alam mo, bago tayo nag-pandemic, uh, eh, everybody was really excited going to the Philippines, di ba, umuwi, balik bayans, uh, many opportunities. Um, can you tell us, uh, RJ, uh, what's happening now with SM, with SMDC and SM, SM Development Corporation? Well, um, Things are going great, actually. Um, before the pandemic, SMDC was like selling condominiums left and right, pancake. And when the pandemic hit, of course, uncertainty came on board. And I was thinking, I, for one, who works for SMDC, I was like thinking, well, paano na yung benta ng real estate ngayon, yung mga condominiums? Bibili pa ba yung mga tao? Eh, may pandemic. People are losing jobs left and right. And um, I was proven wrong because... Currently, the grass is still green. People are still buying. I mean, we closed the year. Alan, this is fresh off the, off my plate here. Um, I got the sales for 2020, and uh, SMDC closed. My division alone closed around 48 billion pesos in 2020. That's around 40, 4 billion pesos a month. So for all you Hawaiians out there not more accustomed with U.S. dollars, that's about 80 million U.S. dollars per month of of uh, real estate properties. So pretty much nandyan pa yung ano, yung mga buyers natin nandyan pa. Uh, medyo nag-change lang ng konti as with everything else because of the pandemic. So anong masasabi mo, JR, sa mga pinag-iisipan siguro na, you know, baka they were on the fence, di ba? Hindi sila, uh, you know, they were planning to invest or buy a, a property, SM man o hindi. Um, what do you have to say to those people, you know, as 2021 comes by, um, as far as investing in the Philippines? Well, I would give the same advice I would give to my family and friends. Siyempre, yung obvious na lang, diba? Common sense. If, um, if you're there and your current situation is shaky, like you don't know if you will still have a job, your contract is kind of pending, uh, you don't know the uncertainties of what uh, the pandemic or quarantine the limitations that it will give, um, then yeah, definitely don't invest. I don't suggest it. But if you're pretty pretty stable, like you're in the medical field, um, you know, you're in logistics, yan yung mga malalakas ngayon eh. Um, you're, a, you're a radio DJ, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> uh, um, you're safe. And uh, the best time to invest would be now. And I'm not just saying that because I'm from SMDC, pero... Uh, just between you and me, I'd give you the same advice I give to my friends. It doesn't matter if it's SMDC or any other company. Right now, ang daming mga promo, pare. Daming mga promo nilalabas ng mga real estate developers uh, to entice buyers to come in. So if you're there sitting there with disposable income of around 20000 a month, man, you should definitely look into it. 20000 pesos? 20000 pesos a month? Yes, that's correct. Pesos yun. Okay, so that's about I don't know, four hundred, four hundred dollars, you know, at fifty, at the fifty exchange rate. Yeah, that would be a good rule of thumb. I'd say around if you have four hundred dollars a month disposable income or extra income, then you would be qualified or you could consider investing in properties located in the Philippines. 
Okay, sabihin natin meron akong 20,000 pesos. I have 400 or 500 dollars to, to invest. Um, where, wh what SM property can I get? Saan ako pwedeng bumili ng SM property? You know, Alan, just like the SM malls that are everywhere all over the Philippines, there are around over 50 shopping malls and uh, they've branched out all the way to China. Uh, just the same, kasi yung sabi ni, ano, ni Tatang, ni, before he, he passed on, he said his dream was to have an SM shopping mall every 20 minute drive away. So that's a lot of malls, man. And uh, with that kind of mentality, they'd like to do the same for condominiums as well. So you notice if you've, if you've seen SMDC projects or condominiums, they're either right beside the existing shopping mall, pero kung walang shopping mall, gagawa sila ng mall right underneath the condo. So just to have that convenience and accessibility. So, um, I think RJ, you know, pinaka, I think out of the, you know, siyempre, SM is great. I love the malls. Eh, hindi, hindi naman tayo nakaka-uwi na hindi tayo mupunta sa SM, right? I mean, SM oh, yeah. is one of those, you got to go, right? Yeah. Um, uh, what, what makes it, what makes the, the condominium, uh, the development, the, the, you know, the condos, what makes them so special, um, you know, in comparison with the SM malls? I'd say um, when you buy a condo or you're investing in a condo, you're not really buying it for the space. Because if you wanted space, you'd buy a house. Um, I would say what you're really buying when you, get, you invest in a condominium is convenience and accessibility, right? Sa madaling salita, di ba? Pag gusto mo yung tipong mag elevator ka na lang, nandun na lahat ng grocery, lahat ng makakainan, nandun na yung banko, nandun na yung pharmacy, just an elevator ride down then condominium living is for you. Now that's for someone who's going to use the condominium. But if you're there thinking, you know what, I, I, I don't invest in condominiums to use it. I, I do it for, for the sake of business to earn money, rental income, you know, papaupahan mo, or simply buy and sell, flip it. Well, it's also a good investment because, because of the convenience that it offers and the accessibility, it now becomes a something of in-demand. Pare, kung in demand yan, di siyempre, prices will keep going up. You can demand higher rental income, etc., etc. You can be able to flip it at a higher value later on in the future. Okay, now, uh, gusto ko sana, JR, ishare, uh, RJ, ishare mo yung kwent kinuwento mo sa akin nung isang araw. Uh, uh, you told me na uh, you have other condos, uh, pero meron ka rin condo dyan sa SM. Jazz, I think sinabi mo sa akin sa SM Jazz. Uh, pero nung tumama itong COVID, uh, you had a choice of, you know, staying in your other condo or this condo, that SM, the SM condo. Uh, pwede ikwento mo sa mga listeners, listeners natin yung sinabi mo sa akin kung bakit dyan ka imbes na dun sa isang uh, ibang uh, condo. Yeah, um, I'm currently staying in, actually, I'm broadcasting straight from jazz residences. I would love to show you my unit, man, but uh, <laughs> it's not prepped up for unit viewing right now. But uh, uh, it's in Makati, for those of you guys who don't know, uh, along Jupiter Street, Bel Air, yung barangay, yung area niya. Um, I currently live here, and as Alan said, I invested in another condominium at a different location. And now, you know, siyempre, bago siya, kaka-turn over lang. I'm also thinking, hmm, ano kaya yung living experience dun? So I did contemplate on moving there uh, just to experience it. Siyempre, bago, di ba? However, walang uh, grocery sa baba nung condominium na yon. And uh, video ako, walang video dun. Video yung bank ko, eh. And um, in comparison to jazz, parang medyo naging familiar na rin ako sa, sa pamamuhay dito. Why? Because there's a BDO bank downstairs. There's a hypermarket, which is a grocery, and elevators right away from where I am right now. There's, there's a pharmacy. Siyempre, di ba? COVID, may quarantine. Nung times, especially nung lockdown dito, and you need like a quarantine pass to go around. Medyo pahirapan. There's a lot of restrictions, limitations. It was awesome for me because I didn't need all of those. I just needed to go downstairs and boom. Everything I need is there. Necessities lang ba? Pag pinag-usapan natin yung necessities, yun yung masasabi kong advantage from my personal experience of living in an SM condo. 
Wow. So, ibig mo sabihin, hindi ka na kailangan lalabas, hindi ka kailangan kumuha ng mga permits, hindi ka kailangan mag, uh, you know, yeah. all, kasi that, all that sounds like a hassle to me, pare. And I think if I were if I were in your shoes, I would be the, doing the same thing. But if I have a condo, I just go to the elevator, go downstairs, get my groceries, oh yeah, pick up some money or pay the bills, and then go back up. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Can, it, so would you say, Pare, convenience is one of the big things that the uh, SM Development Corp Corporation can provide? Oh, definitely, most definitely, and um, it's a it's a one-two punch between convenience. And accessibility. When we talk about accessibility, naman, it's our access or uh, ang path natin papunta sa mga lugar na parati nating pinupuntahan, the places we frequent often, which in this case would probably be the office, because it makes sense. Mondays to Fridays, where do you go? Your office, right? So, ideally, you'd like a property that is either walking distance to your office or gives uh, may skyway access right next door or it's right next to the, 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 the highway, so that mabilis ka lang makapunta sa office. And uh, I would say SMDC locations are prime in that regard. Yeah, so in, in, hindi lang convenient na nasa mall ka, convenient din na mala, malapit ka kung saan ka nagtatrabaho. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, because uh, if you have one, isipin mo, imagine, Monday to Friday, you're close, you're living close to where your office is. Saturday to Sunday, san ka pupunta? Malamang mall tayo, mga Pilipino, mall goers tayo, di ba? So if you have a property located uh, where it gives great accessibility to both the offices and the malls, then you've got yourself a prime location, a location that's in demand. Regardless kung anong developer may hawak niyan, SM, Bayan, Ayala, whatever, or you know, Brand X, whatever you have. Uh, yun yung advice ko sa mga friends and family ko. Because yun yung mga condominiums na alam mo, either for use or for investment, tatagal siya at magiging in-demand siya talaga as time goes by. Okay. Uh, so, maraming, uh, maraming, uh, I've spoken to many people and um, syempre, of course, the SM is great, SM Development Corporation. Pero paano yun uh, sa, sa ating panahon ngayon? I know that maybe later, uh, pag, you know, major controlado na COVID, um, uh, you know, things will get better. But uh, how about you know in the immediate future? Let's say in the next few months, uh, paano kung let's say gusto maginvest ng uh, or gusto bumili ng uh, condominium? Uh, can they do? Can they buy a condo here? Na hindi sila kailangan bumalik sa Pilipinas para magawa yung transaction. Because, uh, you know, RJ, and daming lumalabas na mga uh, orders, di ba? Minsan, it's okay. Next day, it's not okay. Uh, things are changing all the time. But what do you have to say to those, uh, to those who are in that situation? Yeah, that's a definite concern, you know, um, especially during these uncertain times. And what I have to say is um, SMDC has uh, adapted to the online selling, meaning all transactions, if you'd like to reserve a unit, you can do everything online. Alam yung, when we talk to our clients now, uh, email, email lang, pare. You know, video call, Zoom, Zoom, like this, like what we're doing now. We talk about all the details. And then if they want to reserve, payments can be made through any payment center in Hawaii. Um, madami naman tayong remittance centers dyan. Anyone who has BDO online can do it also. Uh, you can even do it through, uh, we send a credit card link, credit card payment link. So that's possible. Na pagdating naman sa documents, in honor lahat via PDF, uh, electronic signing. Uh, it's a new age. And the direction of uh, uh, Big Boy, Henry C. Jr., is that digital is the wave of the future. Um, you know, I was surprised, Alan, because uh, when this pandemic hit and we were forced into a lockdown here, here in the Philippines, uh, many of the developers were not able to adapt quick enough. And in fact, um, uh, it was interesting enough to read this report based on um, Lichu Properties. Lichu Properties is a, a well-established brokerage firm here in the Philippines. And they came out with a report starting March onwards. Uh, ang bentahan lang ng, SM, ng buong real estate industry when it comes to condominiums, 50% of it was sold by SMDC. 
Whereas the rest of the developers have stopped hiring, they've stopped stopped launches. SMDC na continue na continue They were able to adapt to the new norm, so to speak. So I think what um kahit na nandito sila, pwede sila bumili ng property. Definitely. Online, everything can be go online. Okay. So paano to? How about um, if they if they want to rent the property? Kasi sabihin natin na bibili sila pero matagal pa tong COVID, let's say a year, right? Um, meron bang paraan or meron bang uh, pagkataon na they can buy it and you can help them uh, rent the property or, you know, help generate income from the property? Yeah, definitely. You know, I'd say um, more than half of our investors, hindi naman nila actually titirhan yung condo eh. Um, they just want to have an investment in the Philippines. Alam mo yun, uh, they'll, they're going to sell it in the future pag mataas na yung presyo. But in the meantime, while waiting for the prices to rise, papaupahan nila. The good thing right now in the pandemic is um, maraming pre-selling condominiums, meaning under construction pa siya, hindi pa siya turned over. So while you buy it now, you reserve it now while you while the price is still low. And then you do like monthly payments of like I, like we discussed earlier, mga 20,000 or 400 US dollars lang. And but the turnover siya, three years from now pa, four years from now. So kung ganun ng sistema, uh, by then siguro wala nang pandemic, di ba? Meron na tayong cure, meron na tayong effective vaccines and what have you. So perfect siya. By, by then, things will be booming. Things would have already boomed, including the real estate values and properties. So if you're going to invest by that time, too late na, medyo matas na yung presyo by that time. So if you're an opportunist, you'd want to get in on that when you can. If now is that time, then you do it, right? Does that make sense to you, Alan? Absolutely, man. Absolutely. And uh, sana nag uh, make sense yan sa mga nag-iisip na mag-invest sa Pilipinas. Uh, kasi iba pa rin eh. It's different. When you're in the Philippines, diba, iba yung uh, buhay sa Pilipinas eh. Uh, especially if you're going to think about this as a retirement option. Um, anong masasabi mo sa mga ganun? Sa mga people who are looking for retirement properties, gusto na nilang uh, uwi sa Pilipinas. What do you say to them? Yeah, well, if if condominium living is is for them, especially mga tao na ano, yung mga... Uh... Uh, gusto sa hospital. We have a lot of projects that are close to the hospitals also because hey, healthcare is important to some, right? And for some, gusto lang nila, mauling lang sila madalas. Well, we got that, SMDC's got that too. And, um, you know, from all the savings that they've had in, uh, you know, with US dollars, when they come back in the Philippines, ang laki ng buying power nila eh. So, yeah, ideal siya sa mga retirees. Yeah, okay, so I want to just, uh, we have a few more minutes, five, about five minutes. Um, sinasabi mo mga $400, pwede ka nang bumili ng uh, SM property. You mean, you can buy, with 400 you can buy any SM property in any any property in the Philippines with $400? It depends on the uh, location. So, syempre, pare, kung kahit sa naman around the world, um, if you're located in the most prime location, then it follows that the properties and the prices will also be at a premium, right? Um, but as you go outside, as you go outskirts, further and further away, mas pamura ng pamura yung values ng properties. So 20000 is a good benchmark or a good rule of thumb. But we have prop properties that are lower in price, say $300 a month. And we have properties that are more than 400 also. But for 400, other than that, you can find a good, a good uh, SM property. Oh yeah, um, oh, near yeah. a mall. Yeah, malapit sa mall. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, you know, ipinat importante sa akin malapit sa mall. Eh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ang maganda kasi sa SMDC yung strength nila yung payment terms. So ang gusto kasi ni Henry C. Jr. the our CEO is that uh, monthly payments can be made affordable to the Filipino, and um, so. Kung iniisip, kung magiging conducive siya for, pin, uh, for peso or earners here in the Philippines, what more sa mga dollar earners like there in Hawaii? I mean, 400 bucks, man. That's like, wag ka lang mag-Starbucks and mag-coffee-coffee uh, ano, mag for, for a month. Masasave mo na yung $400 na yun eh. Easy. Totoo yan. Huwag kumain sa labas. Actually, napawasan yung pagkain sa labas dito. Uh, 
because of the COVID, right? So, siguro kung naghahanap kayo, uh, mga tagapakinig natin dyan, naghahanap kayo ng uh, pagkataon or opportunity na mag-invest. Um, ayan, pag-isipan nyo SM, SMDC, SMDC Corporation. Actually, I've had some already friends na nag-invest na sa SMDC and they're very happy about it. Um, kasi nga, kung wala sila doon, napapaupa nila, right? You don't have restrictions for a Airbnb, do you? Do you have restrictions like if you're going to Airbnb their property? Um, maganda sa condominium as compared to land. Walang restrictions sa condominium in terms of owning. So even foreigners can own condominiums located in the Philippines. Now, as for leasing it out, wala ding restrictions. You can have it leased out um, long term or short term. Although, to be honest, I won't really suggest short term as of the moment because, you know, the hotel industry and Airbnbs, they're not really doing so well right now because of the situation, because of the virus. But going long term, should it, should it ease up? Okay, yung rentals. That would be a really good thing. Okay. All right. Uh, RJ, we have a couple of more minutes. Um, anything else you want to say to our listeners? About you know, SM thank, yeah, thank you for the opportunity, Alan, first and foremost. And um, existingly, we have so many investors coming from Hawaii already. And uh, we used to do a lot of events when the doors were, were more wide open, so to speak. And um, right, right now, we're making the most out of the online presence. And we would be glad to educate people regarding investments located in the Philippines and all the nitty-gritty things. And for all you guys out there, plug ko na, pare. Um, you know, we have our international marketing partner here. Alan Alvarez is con considered our marketing partner for SMDC. So for all the Hawaiian-based investors, um, go ahead, you know, reach out to Alan on the show. And he'll be glad to, we'll, we'll be glad to help you out. Okay. All right, uh, RJ, man. Maraming salamat, bro. Thank you for coming in and uh, telling us more about it. Uh, Sana, as we go through, uh, can we ask you to come back on again uh, on the show? Hey, man, I had I had fun today. So uh, yeah, definitely, let's let's make it happen. We could talk about okay. other stuff too, all you know. Sure, bro. Sure. Maybe we can uh, identify a property and then talk about it. And maybe if you have some pictures, we can not even it sa live, uh, habang live tayo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All definitely. right. Okay, RJ. Marami salamat sa you, bro. Uh, RJ. Uh, RJ. Um, uh, um, our uh, associate sales director for SMDC International and our marketing partner. Uh, thank you so much. Marami, marami salamat sa iyo. Best of luck. Stay safe. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Ito po si Alan Alvarez, mga kaibigan, gagawin ko kapsat. Nagpapaalam, nagpapasalamat, at nagsasabi na mabuhay ang Pilipino sa Hawaii.